In this lesson, I'm gonna walk you through the three core parts of creating an automated rule. We're gonna create a sample automated rule for our Facebook ad, so go to the Facebook automated rule section. To start, click create rule to create a new rule. You have two options, create a rule from scratch or use the RevealBot strategy. RevealBot strategies are automated rule templates you can add to your account and customize. We'll get into strategies in another lesson in this course, so let's create our new rule from scratch. Giving your rule a descriptive name and a description will help keep your rules organized as you create more rules in your RevealBot account. There are three core parts of an automated rule. One is what the automated rule will apply to. Second is the action the rule will perform. And third is the conditions that are required to be met in order for the action to take place on what you selected your rule to apply to. So first, let's select what we want our rule to apply to. In the sidebar, select the ad account and then select the item level you want your rule to apply to. The entire ad account, to campaigns, to ad sets, or to ads. Below that, we had the option for two kinds of selection methods, specific items or selecting items dynamically with a filter. So let's go through an example to make sense of all this. I'll leave the selection method on specific items and select ad sets. In the main section, it's showing all my campaigns. Now, because I chose to select ad sets, if I select a campaign, it will choose all the ad sets in that campaign. And if I had chosen to select ads, the rule will apply to all ads inside this campaign. If you're making a rule for a specific campaign, it's probably best to use the specific selection method but usually you'll want to use the selection filter method, which can dynamically select your items. So instead of seeing a list of our campaigns, we can create filters to select what we want. So if I'm choosing to have my rule apply to ads, I may want to create a filter for campaigns where if they contain prospecting in the campaign name, for example, I'll be selecting all ads inside campaigns that have prospecting in the campaign name, like this. Another great benefit about the selection filter method is this rule will, will then apply to any future campaigns we create with prospecting in the campaign name. And at the bottom, you can see the estimated number of ads that match our current filter criteria. All right, let's continue. So that was the first core part of the automated rule, selecting the items you want the automated rule to apply to. Now we're going to get to the next two core parts, the action and the conditions. Here's where you can choose the action. Depending on the items you selected for your rules to apply to, you'll see a slight difference in available actions. We're gonna explore more of the actions in future videos, so I'm gonna keep it simple with choosing pause as the action. The third core part is the conditions. Whenever the conditions we set up here are met, it's gonna take the rules action, which is to pause, on the ads that we applied this rule to. Again, we'll go over conditions in more detail in future videos, so I'm gonna keep this simple just to demonstrate how it works. First, we choose a metric. I'm gonna choose website purchase return on ad spend. Next is the time frame for which we want to look at the metric. There are a ton of options you can choose from, but I'm gonna select the last three days, including today. Now next is the value. The value is what we're gonna check our metric against, and I'm gonna choose less than one. You can click preview on the bottom there to verify your rule is set up correctly. In our case, our rule will pause and add if the ROAS in the last three days, including today, is less than one. That looks right to me, so let's move on to the final automated rule settings. You can customize the attribution window for each individual rule. RevealBot will only count the purchases used in our ROAS calculation based on the attribution window we set here. Next, you can choose notifications, and there are two options notifications via email and via Slack. You can choose multiple emails to send your notifications to, and you can select multiple channels or direct user messages for Slack. The final section of the automated rule constructor is the schedule. Here you can set the rule check frequency, which is how often RevealBot will check to see if the conditions are met. We can choose as often as 15 minutes, which is Facebook's API limit, all the way up to 72 hours. You also have the option to schedule a custom rule checking frequency in also 15 minute increments. And finally, you can fine tune your schedule even further by only choosing to run your rule during specific dates for time sensitive ad campaigns. And that is essentially the RevealBot automated rule constructor. After completing your rule, you can save it as a draft or set live. So now that we've taken a look at building an automated rule from scratch, Let's take a look at building a rule with RevealBot strategies.